when it comes to finance, in the old days, uh, the ideal uh, would be to have um, wealth uh, in the community. In Hong Kong today, uh, we can see that we have um, colossal reserves, but are the members of the public um, well funded, well resourced? Why is it that the money is um, stashed away in the coffers without um, allowing the members of the public to enjoy the, the wealth? If we cannot use the money, then all the money would be no more than just um, numerical digits. This is the fifth year I've become an electrical member, and I've been through the scrutiny of uh, all the budgets for this um, period. I find that all the speeches that um, I made over the years uh, can be used again and again. They can be recycled for all the budget debates. I would expect that the government uh, would make improvement. I would expect the government uh, would be doing better year by year. But unfortunately, we find ourselves um, very much um, standing on the same spot over the years. In particular, in terms of um, expenditure on education, I feel very, very disappointed. Over the past five years, the government has uh, never um, attached importance to our aspirations. All the ideas proposed uh, were put on the back burner. We understand that the CE has never attached importance to education. The Secretary for Education appointed by the CE never attached importance to education. The principals, the teachers, the parents, the students, and the members of the public are utterly disappointed. As far as um, the situation, I think uh, I can encapsulate this um, in these words, um, uh, unconcerned, um, Un, um, uncaring and, and no action taken. The principal officials, in the face of uh, all the difficulties faced uh, by the teaching profession, the stress and pressure on the students, the protest protests uh, lodged by the parents, they're so unconcerned about the situation as if it's got nothing to do with them. The teachers are struggling under tremendous pressure, and there are so, there are so many initiatives uh, introduced, creating a burden on them. The parents are more and more concerned about the situation, but not the government. There is a succession gap in the teaching profession which is detrimental to the quality. And there are contract um, teachers uh, who don't have a route in the profession. It's, it's difficult for them to establish a rapport with um, the, the students and the fellow colleagues. But over the years, has the administration done anything to resolve this? In secondary schools, now the, we have seen a diminishing a student population in secondary schools, and they're facing um, a shrinkage in, in the in class size, in number of classes. Uh, the government should do something about this, situ this situation. We suggested that um, the government um, should um, reduce um, the class size, but this has not been taken on board. And this is um, dealing a blow to the quality of the secondary education. The students are struggling under massive pressure. We've seen a spate of um, student suicides, all these um, tragic uh, cases. We have to improve um, the establishment of the teachers. There should be more social workers. There should be a comprehensive um, root and branch review, but the administration um, turns around and say that um, the spate of student suicide has got nothing and no direct relationship with um, the, the structure. Is it that the administration um, justify, tries to justify uh, not investing in education? No. All these are one of the part of the aspirations. The school buildings are aging. 
and we have to redevelop them. We have to renovate them. The graduate teachers, um, the ratio of graduate teachers, the lack of uh, IT coordinates, and also the subsidies uh, for the comprehensive reading scheme um, that is being axed inside the schools. Air conditioning is um, regarded as a luxury and schools have to pick up the taps. Should it be the case? All these problems highlighted are not addressed by the administration. So the world over, uh, we're doing pretty well in terms of education, but all these excellent um, achievements uh, are the results of the hard work of the teachers. If you do do, or do anything to improve the situation, then uh, we will not be able to continue with um, the excellent performance. Second, the government has been shying away from many issues that we've highlighted all these problems. We have um, advanced um, our arguments. We would have liked to talk with um, the Secretary for Education in depth, but it would be very, very difficult. It's a tall order. To my regret, as a representative of the education sector here in the Council, I should have um, got in touch with uh, Mr. Ng on a more regular basis, but over the past four years, all these communications and contacts are few and far between. I heard, not only totally me, I heard uh, from many members, even from the establishment uh, camp, uh, who said that um, they haven't got much opportunity to talk with um, Mr. Ng. Recently, together with 35 members, I've uh, written to uh, the CS and Mr. Matthew Cheung um, and asked to meet uh, Mr. Ng to talk about uh, the TSA. The reply that we got uh, was um, to direct us to the education panel papers. They never mentioned uh, what he's prepared to talk to us. Uh, together with um, the professional comments uh, regarding TSA and student suicide, uh, we arranged to meet um, the CS and Ms. Matthew Jung before the date um, scheduled, but two days uh, before the meeting, it was abruptly cancelled. We've raised uh, so many issues and would like to meet the officials, but we were given a short shrift. Why is it that they're not prepared to talk with us? We have all the um, intention or the friendly intention to talk to them. Madam Deputy, we're anxious to resolve the problems. As long as they are prepared to talk, um, there must be a way. But we draw a blank. This is um, the major problem. Third, um, they brush aside the problems. They shy away from the problems, they are unconcerned about the problems, and they, uh, they brush on the problems aside. Now, by brushing aside the problems, they will not make the problems go away. The reduction in the number of students, I think we have to address um, the uh, shock uh, that this will bring to the schools. Just because of the turbulence, uh, we cannot say that the, um, the playing uh, would be driven up or driven down. We have um, to regulate um, the, the, um, the playing in terms of speed, in terms of everything, um, to make the playing sta um, stabilized. But in the education sector, we haven't done any situation. We're allowing the um, system to be, um, to be turbulent. Is this uh, something, isn't this something the administration ought to deal with? When the student population in the primary sector um, diminishes, the administration cut the uh, number of classes and closed the schools, but when the population increases, um, they, they just uh, increase the number in the classes. In primary schools, the small class policy is uh, being undermined and we have uh, so many classes that are oversized. Now when the population, student population is small, um, 
the um, students suffer, but conversely, when the population increases, the students also suffer. Now, we don't have any uh, pay scale for the kindergarten teachers. Now we have the uh, free kindergarten education. The government is still not prepared to uh, put together a um, pay scale for the kindergarten teachers. This system has uh, given rise to controversies in the welfare sector. In the kindergarten sector, um, the government is not prepared to introduce a pay scale. And this uh, median um, pay will become the maximum pay for the kindergarten teachers. We know uh, full well what the problems are, but the administration is not prepared to handle them. And as a result, we're going to see a wastage, a high turnover in the kindergarten teaching profession. We can't retain the quality teachers. After all, if they don't see much of a prospect, um, they would just uh, pack it all in. So we have to deal with um, these issues seriously. Madam Deputy, after five years of um, suffering, uh, we're going to see a new administration coming in. Mrs. Carrie Lam suggested that uh, to start off with um, an additional sum Recurrent expenditure of five billion dollars is going to be injected into the education sector. This is um, terribly important. I hope that in days to come, the new administration, whoever the secretary for education is, will in July and August over the summer time will resolve um, the the problems of contract teachers facing discontinuity of their contracts, the problem of um, reduction in class sizes, uh, reduction in class numbers, and also the kindergarten problems. I hope that um, in July and August, um, all these problems that will not admit any more delay uh, will be handled to start with. And then two or three years down the line, we will make sure that there will be a respite in the education sector, we can cut, out, um, cut back on the unnecessary um, work to upgrade the quality of the teachers. And the teachers uh, will be able to focus their attention on what they are paid to do, uh, and that is education, instead of uh, asking them to deal with um, um, teacher enrollment across the boundary and so on. So we hope that um, the teachers will focus their energy and attention on the students. They will be given a bit of a respite, and the students will be um, back on an even kill. We hope that in the coming five years, all these um, outstanding initiatives uh, will be completed. We hope that, um, I mean, by putting the SEN students into the mainstream, um, doesn't really resolve the problem. This is not integrated education. By integrated education, we are saying that um, these uh, students, SCN students, will get proper care and proper um, proper attention. It's only then can we achieve um, integrated education. This is by way of an example, and I hope that the new administration in the coming few years will translate uh, all these uh, fantastic words into action. And we should not uh, resort to these um, beautiful words to reduce the financial outlay. Integration education is not about a reduction of resources. It's not about um, couching um, everything in a beautiful words, because this will be detrimental to the parents and the teachers alike. Madam Deputy, to achieve excellence in education, we need not just financial resources, but also passion. But the fundamental resources must be at a um, sufficient level. Over the years, the situation that I witnessed 
is filling me with uh, no end of disappointment. I hope the new administration will make sure that there will be wealth in the community and enjoyed by the community.